Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Well, today is another paper pumpkin video. Um, for those of you who don't do Halloween, and this one is for you. Um, I'm doing a monogram place setting um, that I guess I will be using for uh, Thanksgiving basically. So featuring the Lovely You stamp set. Let me set my whiteboard aside. This was the kit and um, I haven't done any one. Um, I tend to do that a lot. I tend to change it up. I mean, you can already see what's in the kit um, and do them like the kit if you so choose. Me, I choose to try to do something different. So I'm going to show you my little project here. It's this cute little monogram place setting. Wildly grateful. Love is what makes us family. I'm going to write a little message there for Halloween. I'm going to probably put a little treat something in there. Um, <coughs> I don't have anything. I don't keep snacks and stuff like that. Little packages of anything. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to stash in there. Um, but you know what? They love Reese's peanut butter cups. I will probably stick a Reese's peanut butter cup in there for my family. And, um, let me show you how we are going to make that and move that aside. So I have on my second whiteboard, everything you are going to need. So we're going to do three of them. These are the fresh freesia sleeves that would have covered this box here. So I'm using those, I already used one. Um, you will need the plaid cover. Now these measurements, um, I will have to measure this. You could make this yourself. You don't not have to, if you've already used your kit and you would say, oh, that's so cute, I wanna do something like that. Um, I'll give you the measurements of this piece here and the score marks of it in a minute. So we're going to be using probably one and a quarter of these. Um, and actually I'll show you, you will need two and a half by three. So it's two and a half by three. I'm going to show you how I'm cutting it. And, um, it is have score lines, but with this print, you just can't see them. I absolutely love that basic white, you're going to need um, a piece that is two and a half by three. That's for the back. I already stamped two of them. Um, you're also going to need another piece of basic white that's two by three scored in half, which is at the one inch mark. Um, you will need, um, where are they? My little strips here. My band-aid is killing me. Um, one and a half by three. So I have three of those basic white these little pieces one of these came in the kit this little rectangle which is one by one and a half and that means our layering piece basic black is one and a quarter by one and three fourths now these little letters i have here are from my little scrap bin from my husband's navy um stuff that i have been doing and I don't have an A in this blue, so I don't know what I'm going to do for mine, but we'll figure it out. But if you do not have any little alphabets, you can go to Walmart has these little, any store, these little dimensional stickers, which I probably should have started with that, but oh, live and learn. So let's get to making of this box. Um, actually, first I'm going to show you what the measurements would be if you have used your paper pumpkin belongings or if you need extra. So this is eight and one sixteenth by three. So that would be for your box. Now what we are doing is we are folding it from the squared end, not the first score line, the second score line in, which is at three and a half inches we're going to give that a good crease and then we are going to crease the little pied or mitered end up so we're going to do that on all three of my box sleeve covers so in the center and our little tab just like so there's two 
Last one, three. I won't have a ton of uh, paper pumpkin videos as I am almost out of supplies. So there's our three boxes. Now to complete this little uh, stand-up monogram place setting, we need our little uh, two by three scored at one inch pieces and you're gonna you could use tear tape I just used glue you're gonna take one folded in put it up to that score line right so line her up and all we're doing is giving it something to you could miter it if you wanted it to be perfect. I just need it to stand up to go on the table. So I'm just going to line this up like so. And there you have our little stand up place setting. So let's do this again. I like to put glue on this piece. Stick one end right there. You can do this. Then I'm going to bring it up together. One more to go. And I do need two more place settings, which I will have to uh, when I get my order with the new Fresh Freesia. I don't have a bit of cardstock <laughs> that that's going to be big enough to do this with. But I will be making two more. Because I'm all out of the fresh freesia. But this will give me a start. This will give me four. Okay, so there we have our three. And you want this score line here at the bottom. We're going to be using that. Next, we have our pieces of the other box um, cover. And I'm going to show you how I cut, the, cut it. I started, let me grab my guillotine. I started at the squared end, not the side that the edges are mitered. I started at the square. From here to here is three and it needs to be, let me double check before I go cutting. It's two and a half. And I got three of these from this one sheet. So two and a half. There's one. I told you I needed two more, so I'm going to cut them ahead of time. Two. And this is our last one. Now with this little bit, I have both of them. Where did it go? Hmm. I have these two little bits and I have this little bit which we're probably going to add a little bit to these with. I just wanted to wait to the end. So, yikes. We'll just use the three that I cut. And you can see the score lines when we're doing the white, but no one's going to see them. Just place it in the center. Yes, this one has a little bit there, but it's going to be just fine. Mm 
my thumb is still aching from me cutting it with a paring knife yesterday and it's quite clumsy I'm not going to be working in the garden today that's for darn sure and somebody is weeding and you can hear that noise it's not my husband <laughs> that's for sure somebody's cutting limbs and getting ready for winter so there you have it next i have those little that noise y'all is the recycling truck coming by these little half an inch strips by three and this is just a little bit of interest on the card but it also serves a purpose to hide that score line on the fresh freesia and this is not cut quite where it should be but it's gonna work okay there we go so you can just add a bead of glue across there where you're going to fit your strip and you know right where it's going to be at This kit, you know, it's so much more than just Halloween. You can do oh, so much. I love these nice, bright colors. It'll be a great little focal point. So here we have ours from my husband, Russell. Our little, uh, this was what you could have stamped. Enjoy the spooky treat. Yes. Instead, we are putting... A monogram letter R on it layering on a piece of one and a quarter by one and three quarters piece of black I just can't believe that of all the letters that I don't have one in that box is the letter a I have everybody else's initial but mine <laughs> really thinking of all the letters that I don't even know where I ugh, so crazy so the letter J is my daughter justice H is for Hank my grandson so we can put this on this one the letter J now you could do cute little calendars on this um if you had some my son's little dog i'm going to show you a little calendar stand june i gotta take off some let's see yeah I usually cut these off because these are tearing let's see this little sticky notes a friend made those for me and miss Sandra Rowan thank you honey I keep it up on my shelf up there so let's see we're gonna get the letter D out and I have one in blue I have a lot of black I don't know why I didn't well, I, is that nope i don't have one letter a not for me huh so we're gonna do d for dustin who was my son like i said i'm not sure what i'm gonna do about me but I might be the oddball out and just have to hand write the letter A in there or use a sticker. 
Okay, so let's get these on my little play settings. All right, now for the back. I'm going to set those up there, grab the memento black, and our sentiments we're using from the lovely you are wildly grateful and love is what makes us family which i think is perfect for halloween so i'm doing wildly grateful at the top and love is what makes us family down here at the bottom and then i have space to write handwrite a little bit from me, their mother, their grandmother, or Manji as my grandson calls me. Um, he was about one and a half, well, almost two, and he was standing up crying and my husband went in to get him, he had his arms out. I was walking by the hallway and he started yelling, Manji, crying his eyes out. My husband's like, well, honey, we know what we're going to call you from now on. <laughs> and it has stuck. Six years later, <laughs> I'm still being called Manji by other children too. They're like, why do you call her Manji? And he's like, that's my grandmother. That's what I call her, which is kind of, you know, people people their grandparents granny my husband he calls papa um my mother was called moms um it's because she said she was too young to be called grandma um and she was very young when she was made a grandmother not by me but by my older sister so she titled herself moms and that stuck with her. Kind of funny little nicknames. Mima. I know someone who had a grandmother named Mima. They called her. It's all your personal preference. I think they're great little nicknames, just like Allie. Uh, so there we have it. Quick, simple, and didn't take too long at all. Like I said, I have a. Uh, two more to make um, for my table one is for me one isn't but i have to get those <laughs> done so i hope you liked this little bit of a twist on this month's paper pumpkin and um let me know what you think of this little monogram place setting and if you plan on trying it for yourself and um, come back and visit me again in my wonderland bye bye now